guys, welcome back. I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of two awesome campgrounds that we've stayed at uh, this week in Florida. Uh, first one, which is where I'm at now, this is the end of our trip. Uh, I'll post pictures up of the other one. Uh, but that's, this is the end of our trip. Uh, this one is the Lake Tarpon uh, Clearwater KOA. Uh, and then the other one that we did was the uh, Sugarloaf Key KOA uh, down in Sugarloaf Key, about 20 minutes north of Key West. Both of these campgrounds, I'm going to start by saying, are spectacular. Uh, we'll start with the Clearwater uh, KOA here. Um, just beautiful grounds. I'm going to flip this around to where you can see the, the landscaping. I mean, here's our site. Um, landscape next to none, I got to say, here and at the other campground as well. Uh, so we'll start with Clearwater. They got a nice pool here, smaller side, but nice pool. Very clean facilities, laundry facilities, and right out towards the roadway, roadway there, there's a Publix right up the street. There's tons of restaurants right around this general area. Um, you can do the patio sites, which right across the way there. Those are the patio sites. Uh, we didn't opt for a patio site on this this go round since it's just a stopover one nighter for us, uh, both there and back. So, um, highly recommend. This is probably one of the nicer KOA, KOAs that we've stayed at um, across the nation. So, um, gotta recommend it. I mean, really, this is probably top. It's gotta be top five for sure. Uh, and this is off season, mind you, so it's really quiet here. Um, but again, friendly staff, clean facilities beautiful landscaping nice pool can't ask for much more than that uh, you get exactly what you pay for here at this campground so now I'm going to talk about um, the Sugarloaf Key KOA that is the number one campground in my book number one and I don't I don't I don't use that lightly we've been to the the Tucson Resort and a lot of other very nice KOAs that one takes the cake. And I'm gonna tell you why it takes the cake. It has so much to offer, all right? Let's we'll start off with campgrounds. Campgrounds are absolutely beautiful. Very well maintained. This trip, we did a little something different. We decided that the kids were gonna follow us down. Uh, you know, six people. You can imagine, they're not gonna fit in that GeoPro there, right? So they have these beautiful condos on ground. So our kids drove down, they stayed in the condos. We camped on our campsite. Uh, second part, they have a full uh, dock and marina with store, with bait, with everything you need. We actually rented a boat and then we docked that boat at the KOA. They charge us a small slip fee. Uh, and so we had the boat right there at the campground with us all week. Um, you guys can research this, this campground for pictures. I mean, I could take pictures, but it's not going to be... Uh, better than what someone else has already taken. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, they get the marina with bait and uh, the store has, they, they have everything you need. The pool there is comparable to some of the very, very nice Mexican resort pools that I've seen. They've got uh, um, cornhole, they've got bocce ball, they've got hammocks there in the back behind the pool. They've got a bar at the pool. Uh, you can order food there. Uh, by the way, the buffalo chicken sandwich, man, that was legit. Get that. Uh, and everything was very reasonably priced. Um, and then right around the corner from there, even if you don't decide to go with a boat, but you did want to fish, um, you can go right around the corner, say a quarter of a mile. You could walk there if you wanted to. We, we're lazy. We drove. Uh, and then you can fish right off the bridge, uh, right around the corner from the KOA. Um, we're, as a family, absolutely exhausted from just the sheer amount of activities uh, that we did on this trip uh, which that's a good exhaustion right much better much better to be exhausted on vacation than exhausted from work whatever you do if this if it's the last thing you do please hook your camper up pull it down to Key West or Sugarloaf Key and stay at that KOA I 100% guarantee you you will not be sorry It'll be a fabulous vacation. Uh, even if you're not RVing, if you're staying in their condos, their condos were beautiful. Um, there's one little 
negative, right? Something that they can't control is the noceums, the gnats. They're bad. So two things you can do at the store, the marina store or the main store, they uh, sell spray for noceums. Don't think you're gonna get away without getting bit. You will get bit, all right? But if you put that spray on, it worked great, you know? Um, also heard some of the staff there mention that pure coconut oil, oil, if you wanna use that, will keep them away as well. Uh, once we started using that, wasn't bad at all. Uh, mosquitoes in that area, funny enough, are very minimal. And the reason they're minimal is because this helicopter flies through there and drops mosquito pellets uh, for mosquito control, which is a really cool sight to see, by the way. But all things aside, beautiful pool, beautiful campgrounds, marina, boat docks. You can rent a boat from the KOA as well. Uh, they do offer, but they'll only let you go on one side of the bridge, which is it's okay, you know. Um, and then they also offer chartered tours out of their dock. I think it was like 159 bucks uh, for a trip out on their charter. Um, so again, you just can't go wrong. There's just too much to do. There's so much to do, we, we couldn't do it all. You know, they've got live music, uh, all kinds of trivia, all kinds of activities uh, going on there. And then right across the street is Mangrove Mamas, uh, right across A1A from the KOA. Uh, you gotta try out Mangrove Mamas. That place was just fabulous. Uh, no CMs were bad there too, but it, the food was absolutely fabulous there. So uh, this is just a little bit on our trip, you know, starting here at Clearwater, ending up at Sugarloaf, and then back here at Clearwater. Um, sorry, just had a <laughs> had a bug situation going on there back behind me, but uh, but nonetheless, um, you, you got to check out at minimum check out the Sugarloaf Key. Uh, but I'm also saying that this Clearwater location is near, obviously, Clearwater Beach is about 20 minutes away. That's a beautiful beach, dog-friendly beach in some sections, too, which is big for us. Um, you can't go wrong. If you wanted to make this one your destination, you can make this one your destination. But at some point, you got to get to the Sugarloaf Key KOA. Uh, I'm going to post up some pictures at the very end of this video of our trip out there. And, and these are actual pictures from us, even though they may look like postcards. Um, so we'll see you guys on the next uh, KOA review. Uh, stay tuned for those pictures. They're coming next. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.